It's David from Scythe3D here, and I'm going to show you how to join footpaths with different widths around a junction. So here you can see we have a couple of different styles. We have one where the footway clearly should be going through and just continuing through and stopping at this location and basically having no footway along this side of the uh, side road here. And we have another one where we are going from one footway width down to another way footway width around a corner with a single curve. Let's show you how to do these. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit this footway along the side road here. So we're going to go to the channels and footway tools and I'm going to select the footway along this side. And then for this one, all I need to do is a single widening from this point to this point. So we're going to use the add widening tool, use our snap to vertex and click from here to here click OK, hit apply, and that has now finished that one off for us. You can see that's brought it right the way through to here, and then we have a zero offset footway going all the way down the end. And you can see how that's working on the 3D view here. It just ties those two in, and it joins right at the curb line. The second one here is done in a very similar way. We use the channels and footways tools, select the footway along the side here, this time, instead of using a widening, I'm going to use a mitre corner tool. And I'm going to choose a position right at the beginning. And I'm going to go just around the corner. So I'm on the other side of this bend. Click here. And then I can change the end offset. So that's what I do. End offset, click here. And choose the end offset to be the new width that I need it to be. I could type it in if I wanted to. And then the second thing is I can type in a radius or I can hit pick on that one. And I can just choose it off the drawing. So that should be a 5 meters. Click OK again. Hit apply. And we have those two different junction styles done. There's a couple more down at the other end of this where we have a footway which is much wider and joins to a, a much narrower footway and we have one where the footway continues round the junction for a bit and then stops. If I just move the 3D view over we can see exactly what we're going to be getting. So here I'm going to start with this side again, the left hand side, and we're going to go in and edit this one. And now this one's very easy, just hit the edit channels on footway tool again, select just on the outside of the footway here, because this means that we're going to definitely pick the footway rather than the channel line. So I'm going to pick just outside, and then I'm just going to use a new parallel starting at the beginning, finishing at the end, and at the end width. I could type those in if I wanted to, click OK, and hit apply, and that has now added in. And you can see the footway continues round and then stops. Now this one is slightly different, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to widen out right the way to the end at the right width for this road here. So I'm going to go and use the channels and footway tools, edit the footway on the outside here, new parallel, start it here, go all the way through to the end at the, in this case, 4 meter wide width, and click OK. So I'm going to hit apply on this one just to show you what we're going to get. So if you had a very wide road that continued all the way through to the end, you'd end up with this um, disjoint in the, uh, the footway width at the end here. Now what we want to do is we want to match the footways around like this. And all we're going to do is exactly the same as before, edit the uh, footway. And I'm going to do a new widening from the position here through to that position there. Click OK and you can see that that has just stopped at that position and then it's just parallel through to the end. Hit apply and that is done. And that is how you do these different styles of junctions. Thanks for watching.